Guess what day it is? It's Saturday. It's time to hit the garage sales. Hey guys, it's Tanya with Thrifty Treasures and today I'm going to be taking you with me to hit the garage sales. Okay, so I'm super excited about today because there are two community sales. There's one at a high school and then there's one at a church and they both start at the same time. <laughs> so um, I will uh, slowly but surely make my way to both and anything I find in between I'll be stopping as well and I'm going to take you with me. First sell, let's find it, find it, find it. And where's the arrow telling us which way to go? Ooh, wait, what's all this over here? I do see something. Oh, yes. Yes. Look at this, the doors. But it's not for sale. <laughs> what? Make that three community garage sales this weekend. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I don't even think this one was advertised, and if it was, I missed it. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna be going all morning. <laughs> okay, so I had some really great scores at that very first garage sale I went to, and I can't wait to show you guys. Uh, but I don't have time to be stopping and showing, so I'm gonna have to wait till I get home. So, pulling up to another one. Let me turn the camera around and show you. I got a bunch of stuff at that last garage sale too. So again, I'll show you everything when I get home. Okay, here's another one. Looks like this lady's just now setting up. But I'm gonna go see what she has. Okay, real quick, funny story. So at that garage sale I just showed you um, I picked up this birdhouse. Let me show you real quick. Oh, and I got a globe. You can see it. That was only 75 cents. Um, I picked this up. I thought it would be good for my um, antique booth. And so, oops, the, uh, I asked how much it was and the lady said, oh, I'm not sure, maybe, you know, $5. And I was like, okay. And, you know, I kept on looking. And she's like, well, what would you pay for it? And I said, $2.00. And she seemed like she wasn't sure. And I was like, well, that's okay. You might want to wait. You're just starting your garage sale. And so I'm walking to my car and I hear this man saying, hey, hun, hey, hun. And I didn't look because I thought he was talking to his wife. I mean, who calls a stranger, hun? <laughs> Maybe in Texas, I guess so. But um, he was like, hey, hun. He was talking to me. He was like, if you want that for $2, you can have it. And I was like, okay, thank you. You know, and I went and bought it. But this was a... Um, Super cute little power couple, little Ken and Barbie. <laughs> he was like, hey, hon. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. Real sweet people. Okay, again, no sign telling me which way to go. So we will just make the loop real quick. I'm kind of in a hurry because it's about it's, uh, 7.50, about 10 minutes until the church garage sale opens up. So I'm thinking I might just Come back to this neighborhood later and because I love to go to the big community sales because everything's in one place and I've already spent a lot of money this morning so we'll see what this sale has looks like they might have a lot of toys uh oh no outlet <clears throat> Which way? Oh, okay. Looks like there might be two cells over here. Uh, yep, there's one in that garage and there's one right here.
So I thought I'd show you while I'm walking back to my car, but I got, I just spent a dollar. I got this Miriam Haskell sea shell necklace. Silver and gold. I'm probably gonna keep this for me. Okay, so I just have to say, you guys, I love my area that I live in. Like it's, it's just eight o'clock, and I bet you I've already been to like 15 garage sales, and there's still a ton more uh, to go to yet. So, you know, living in Texas does have its perks, right? Because we don't get that real severe cold weather like some of you guys do up north. So we pretty much have garage sales uh, year round. So that is a definite plus when you're a reseller living in Texas, right? <laughs> Look y'all, the sun is coming up. Isn't it pretty? Rolling, rolling, rolling off to the next cell. Garage sale. Something exciting and new for you. Okay, I am losing my mind again this morning. <laughs> See if I can find this cell real quick so I can get to that church garage cell. Oh my gosh, I'm never going to get there. I keep getting distracted with all these garage cell signs. see what they got. Okay. Gotta get the hustler fuel in. Banana is really good for some energy. And I've got a ton of water with me to also help keep my energy up. I've had two cups of coffee and I am still ready to go. <laughs> looky, looky. Where am I going to park? Oh my lord. Okay, I didn't find much inside of that cell. Um, it's getting kind of late, so it was probably pretty picked over. So I am headed back to my area to get some more finds. Oh, yeah, we started digging. Okay, so this is funny. I have to show you guys. These two little black ducks have been hanging out in our neighborhood for about a week now. Aren't they cute? <laughs> they just waddle around, pecking at the grass. They're super cute. I'll see them across the street, down the street. Hey, ducky ducky! I guess they're eating something in the grass. I don't know. But they're so cute. I just wanted to show you guys. Look at the little butts waddling. <laughs> oh, hey, Skippy. Are you feeling better? While mommy was gone, somebody decided to go dumpster diving in the kitchen trash. Huh, daddy? Skippy, did you get into some bacon grease? And then when daddy fed you, you didn't even want to eat, which is highly unusual for you. Okay guys, I am uh, back home, clearly. It is actually Monday, not um, Saturday any longer. And I just spent seven minutes rambling about everything I picked up and guess what? The sound wasn't working. <laughs> so I had to delete that video and now I'm starting all over again. Good times. <laughs> Super quick, I'm gonna show you guys everything I picked up. Now, I've not done a ton of research on all of this stuff yet. 
Um, but like I said, when it's, it's you get it so cheap at a garage sale, I, I really don't mind um, redoning stuff if I have to or giving stuff to friends. Anyway, um, I digress. I picked up this Betsy Johnson wallet. I paid five dollars for it. It is brand new with the tags. It's actually called Love Betsy by Betsy Johnson, and I already have it up on eBay for um, $34.99. Uh, then I picked up some little Robbies, little baby shoes. I remember when Brandon was a baby, I would buy these for him, and they were not cheap. Uh, so I paid a dollar for these, and I'm hoping to list them for about $15. The next item I picked up was a Lego Crazy Action Contraptions. It's uh, new sealed in the package. I paid a dollar for it, and um, just has instructions on how to put stuff together, and it retails for $21.95. And I picked up a whole box of these bow ties. They were a quarter and actually one necktie. The brand on the necktie is Paul Frederick. I don't think I've ever heard of that brand. But um, for a quarter, I thought I'd pick it up. Let me show you all of these bow ties in here real quick. There's about, I think there's about eight of them. And um, the company on the bow ties is, let's see if I can find one with the tag. It's called um, the Bowtie Club. So, and it actually, this is actually a stitch fix, stitch fix box. I don't know if maybe they were getting their bow ties from there, but I thought for a quarter a pop, I was putting them up on eBay as a lot. Skippy, do you need to say hi? Okay, let's come say hi real quick. Say hi, hi fellow resellers. How are y'all doing today? You happy now? Okay, mommy's got to put you down. All right. Then I picked up these um, brown suede Toms, men's Toms, and I only paid a dollar for these, and Toms are not cheap. I've got a ton of them myself. Um, they're really comfortable, fun shoes, so I'm probably going to list these for about $20. Um, and then I picked up this giant uh, fish planter here, and um, I paid $5 for this. And when I went to go check out, the lady said she actually got it at Pier 1. And I was like, no wonder, Pier 1 is like my favorite store. I love Pier 1 and um, Kirkland. And here is the birdhouse I was telling you guys about. I paid $2 for it. And I'm probably going to put it in my antique booth for about um, $15. let us see. And I picked up this, uh, this man bag here. It's by Ed Hardy. And it's got this cool tiger on the front. And it says Metro Park fashion music art so i paid uh three dollars three dollars for that one and i actually did look that up they're not going for a ton but i'll probably list it for about 15. and then i got four of these vintage um nintendo activision games i got the uh double dribble uh world cup here rad gravity and Days of Thunder, now these were $2 each, and I almost passed them up because I thought they were like DVDs sitting on the table. So, but, um, and I've uh, seen these before at Garage Sale. See, this is what they look like, the cartridge. And, but I've never seen them in the package before. So, um, my husband did a little bit of research, not a ton. I think I'm gonna lot them as a group on eBay for um, $59.99 for all um, four of them. And then I picked up uh, this, uh, Snow Bunny by Department 56. It's a Christmas ornament. And this is actually the second one I picked up recently. And it's new with tags. So I'm going to put that up on eBay. Um, I think that's about it for my haul. Oh, and real quick, I wanted to show you guys these. So I picked these up at um, Goodwill last week for $1.99 each. And so I paid $4 for both of them. They're just like a globe and they're lined with Christmas lights. But I love the Christmas lights. Um, they've always made me happy. So I've got, you know, I've got some in my bedroom. I've got some in my eBay room. I just love to look at them. But um, I was wondering, where do you guys think I should hang these at? Like where in the house? Maybe in the eBay room? I don't know. I just wanted to see what you guys thought. So um, that's all I got. Please like the video and share it with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.